Yesterday at my friend Dale's house, uh, we took apart this uh, Norcol Engel portable refrigerator. Today I have the cooling unit out on my driveway front yard and I'm just getting ready to hotwire it to 120 volts for the first time. I've ran it on 12 volts, but though it sounded like it was working, it didn't it didn't appear to be cooling. This thing stayed warm for several minutes. I'm going to try to give it a shot on 110. I found a circuit diagram. Well, it's actually a service manual online. And in the troubleshooting, in the troubleshooting it said if it wasn't cooling, uh, what to check. I'll show you that later when I find that section. That's all the things they tell you to check uh, electrically. So, I, I cut the 120 volt input off the, off the connector because I didn't have that cord and that cord's now hard to find. So, I found, I have these uh, snap connectors. Uh, these came with a metal halide ballast I bought and I just got a cord with me so I'll wire it up and plug it in and see what happens. Okay, I got the 120 volt section wired up. Let's uh, plug her in and see what happens. Okay, we, I hear a humming now. The compressor sounds like it's working. This is 22 volts, by the way. The compressor, even though being a linear compressor or swing motor, it operates at a resonant frequency of 60 hertz, which means that all you need is a simple transformer just to drop the voltage. The other side of the transformer, this connector here, actually connects to the inverter board, which I threw in there for 12 volt operation. Well, those should get warm. Oh, keep in mind, I guess the way I wired it, I bypassed it the thermostat. I'll come back later and see if it gets cold. Well, I had this thing running for a while by now, and uh, still doesn't feel like it's gotten cold or changed temperature yet. And uh, I felt the I felt the discharge and the uh, liquid lines. They don't even seem to be getting warm. The compressor's still humming away. I'm starting to think now it probably. Uh, Either there's a block, according to the service manual, there's either a blockage in the system or it either leaked out all its refrigerant, R12. I did pull the insulation off the suction line. They wrapped the capillary tube around it some, somehow. I don't see any oil or I don't see any oil or anything. I noticed that there's some green stuff on the copper. Well, but anyway, still think this thing lost its refrigerant. Yeah. Well, still got a power supply that I could probably save for parts, uh, cause uh the the person who gave it to me, he uh, has another one of these, and that one works. So I'll probably uh, strip the unit for spare parts, or maybe if I want, I'll... I don't know if I can get a piercing valve onto that process stub. It's a lot smaller than what you'd see on a normal refrigerator. 
what I'm thinking about doing is if I could I'll try charging it with butane R600 and see what happens as well anyway over and out